Don't follow me. Town is that way. No! We were working on this list of things we knew we wanted in this movie, and we wanted a droid that had a strong personality and a big role in the film. We had to be very careful that we designed and constructed and brought BB-8 to life in a very sensitive way. R2 and 3PO are such classic characters. This droid, it needed to look and feel very different, and yet needed to be in the family of what Star Wars does. We were trying to figure out what it would look like, and we saw a bunch of images for things. I think the first one I did was almost like BB-8's head with little wings, and it would float. I tried a tall, skinny one and a big, fat one. And I just had this idea, and so I just drew a picture of BB-8, a very, very simple one. We got JJ's post-it drawing, and I always called it, oh, it's like a snowman without a chest. From there, it was trying to give him personality and attitude by those limited parts. JJ was very vocal about that in the beginning of wanting as much on camera as possible. The ability to have an actual physical droid on set animating as he would, that was as real as anyone else. That was an incredible goal. Come on, baby! There was this wealth of design work that had come through from the art department. And we spent a lot of time to develop it into an animatronic droid that would appear in a film. So it's just an evolutionary process to go through and figure out what works best, what's feasible, and what's just crazy mad. <laughs> Our job was to make this design real world. BB-8's face was a very, very difficult thing to get right, the proportions, the placement of parts. Turning that into a practical puppet was something that we could use and was probably the most advanced thing that we've ever done, to be honest. I think early on, having looked at a few designs, it was a case of going through and looking at what could be demanded of it and saying, OK, you could use this type of BB-8 for this type of shot, you could use this type of BB-8 here. There was many iterations of BB-8. There's the puppeteered version. Brian has control of most of the movements. You can't really beat that. BB-8 has been, without a doubt, the most physically demanding role I've done as far as puppetry is concerned. If I want to make BB-8 go forwards, I push him. Then there's the two trikes. The trikes are incredibly difficult to drive. It's a really weird, wacky drive system. It was hard, but actually I really enjoyed it. And the flashing voice light. Sometimes I look after the head movement as well. Left and right, back and forth, depending on which version we're using. We go through it together. We're a team. <laughs> and then there's the one called the Wiggler. We've got a carrier version, which is a bit lighter, so the actors can pick him up. As we got to a shot, we would sort of talk to JJ and we would look at the camera and see, you'd say, well, that's definitely going to be this version. So we got a mix going after a while and so and we'd bring them out as and when they were needed. When I saw him rolling around on set, it was great to see. And there's such a positive to having that interaction between two performers. BB-8 does a lot of performing with Daisy Ridley and they've got a really nice little rapport going on. When she first meets BB-8, she repairs his aerial. Kind of like she ruffles his hair or if he's a little dog, she'd give him a pat on the head. Where do you come from? He's like a dog, so he's this sort of plucky terrier. You know, he's small, but he's got a big heart. I'll pay for him. Yeah. 
60 portions. BB 8's like our version of R2. I remember when me and BB 8 had our first scene, you could feel the love and the warmth. Well, it's amazing. He's really there. So he really comes to life, and you actually get to see it and interact with it. One of the amazing things was seeing the three droids together for the first time because we had 3PO and R2, and then BB 8 is there. And I found myself more nervous probably about that. I'm in a scene with BB-8. You'd expect me to say BB-8's in a scene with me, but actually BB-8 is such a star, it's like I'm in a scene with him. And I was instantly enchanted. And I thought, if Anthony Daniels is giving a seal of approval, then we might be okay.